हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो एज यू गाइज नो आई वॉज इन पॉन्डी एंड आई ऑलरेडी मेड अ वीडियो एंड इट डिड गेट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ रिस्पॉन्स एंड लाव फ्रॉम यू गाइज एंड आई एम रियली 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 थैंकफुल फॉर यू गाइज फॉर दैट एंड प्लीज डू सपोर्ट मी इन ऑल माई एंडवर्स आई लव यू गाइज अ लॉट एंड टूडे आई एम कंटिन्यूइंग विद माई पॉन्डीचेरी सीरीज एंड दिस इज वीडियो नंबर टू एंड इन दिस वीडियो we are going to explore one of the most unique places on earth a city which is built on ideals of unity harmony and human progress so i welcome all of you guys to oroville it is not just a destination it's a vision a living experiment of human unity today we will dive into what makes oroville so special we'll also delve a bit about its founder shri arbindo the vision behind it how you can live here if you wish to live here and also we are going to visit the famous mandri mandir and much more so let's start by understanding the philosophy behind oroville so oroville was basically founded in 1968 as an international community where people from all over the world could live in peace regardless of the nationality religion or politics its name means the city of dawn so the idea was to create a place where humanity could thrive evolve and move towards spiritual realization It was inaugurated with a soil from uh, all over the world. I can say one twenty-four countries being placed in a lotus-shaped urn, symbolizing global unity. Imagine a place with no political division, no ownership, where everyone is working towards a collective goal of personal and social growth. So that is Oroville in a nutshell. So to understand Oroville, we must. first to know its philosophical roots which traces back to the teaching of sri arbindo ghosh an indian philosopher yogi a freedom fighter and much more born in 1872 sri arbindo played a key role in the international congress during the early phase of indian freedom movement he was deeply involved in the struggle against the british rule but eventually he transitioned from the political activism to spiritual development His philosophy called inter- integral yoga combines physical, mental and spiritual progress. Sri Aurobindo's spiritual collaborator Mira Alfasa known as the mother took this philosophy forward and founded Oroville to bring his teaching into practice on a global scale. Oroville was officially founded in 1968 by the mother based on the ideals of humanity and spiritual evolution. The goal was to create a space where people could live freely without political or religious divisions and work towards a collective progress. The mother believed that Oroville would be a place where no one could own land or property and the people would live in harmony with nature and each other. Even today Oroville functions as a self-sustaining community with its own governing stru- structures working in tune with the vision laid down by its founders. So then the next question. So how can one live in Oroville? Well, anyone can be part of this community if they resonate with its values. The process involves volunteering or working on various community driven projects like organic farming, education, sustainable development, etc. So living in Oroville basically is not just about occupying a space, it is about contributing to the community and living sustainably. People here live a very simple life but with purpose. Living spaces here are eco-friendly and the entire community follows a model of sustainability from energy consumption to food production. It is a unique way of life centered on spiritual and economic ecological harmony. So life in Oroville is diverse and vibrant. The residents come from over 50 nations and they are engaged in activities like organic farming, crafts, yoga, alternative energy productions and education 
people live simple yet meaningful life with a focus on inner growth and service to humanity the balance between work community service and personal development is what makes the life here so fulfilling at the heart of oroville lies the matri mandir a striking golden dome that draws visitors and residents alike for its beauty and spiritual significance the matri mandir often referred to as the soul of oroville is not a temple but a place for quiet concentration and meditation the name matri mandir translates to temple of mother symbolizing a space for inner growth and spiritual awakening The massive golden globe is surrounded by 12 meticulously designed gardens each representing a different spiritual quality such as peace harmony and love The structure was envisioned by the mother as a place for personal transformation it's open to people from all belief who seek a place for silent contemplation rather than a ritual worship Inside the inside atmosphere is completely serene with a white marble interior and crystal globe at its center illuminated by a ray of sunlight the central med- meditation hall also known as the inner chamber is where the crystal sphere is placed symbolizing aspiration for inner clarity no talking is allowed inside as it is meant for silent reflection To visit the Matri Mandir, especially to meditate in the inner chamber, you need to plan well in advance. Visitors are welcome over here, but because Matri Mandir is a place for concentration, it requires advance registration. So, if at all you want to book for this, because we couldn't do that because it was a last-minute plan, so um, we were postponing it to the other day when we thought, like you know, well, get done with that today only because it was little farther from the place that we were staying. so it was a quick plan and we couldn't book for that but if at all you want to do for that and i highly advise you going and doing it because inside atmosphere itself is very serene and inside matri mandir will be will be a really awesome experience for you guys so here is how you can do it so whatever your booking whether it is day viewing pass or inner chamber meditation pass both are free of cost and how you can book it you can just go to oroville website and you can book online i'll link down the website in the description box so that will be easier for you guys so we just bought a day pass from the visitor center for that you just need to go to the uh, visitor center and then buy a pass and then you can walk around the matri mandir gardens and enjoy the peaceful environment so the for the inner chamber meditation pass i kind of like recommend you book it in advance couple of days in advance because the thing is like you know for this they really limit the number of pass they um, give away every day because they limit the visitors in order to ensure tranquility of the space because it's basically for meditation so they don't allow a lot of people so every day pass are limited and it is free so it is really like first come first serve basis so well in advance you book it to make sure you get a pass okay which we didn't do so that we the only option le- left with us is to go around by buying a day viewing pass which was also good the walk is around like good um, would 3 4 kilometers we walked it there is for kind of like um, old people and people who has difficulty in walking and all they have transportation but we decided to walk but it was pretty hot i uh, like really hot uh, when we reached over there it was like we were really tired of uh, you know that um, humid humidity and all those stuff so that is one thing so ha huh. going back to it so if once you booked and your booking got confirmed for your inner chamber pass and then you will receive an orientation at the visitor center about the significance of matri mandir and guidelines for maintaining the space peaceful atmosphere so you should also keep in mind that children under age of 10 are not allowed in the meditation chamber and photography is strictly prohibited inside the matri mandir and you should remember to wear comfortable clothing as you will need to walk a little to reach the matri mandir from the visitor center as i told you it is almost like 3 kilometers from there so you really need to 
kind of like carry something or wear something that is really comfortable for you and carry a bottle of water you will really get water bottles and all on the way there are a lot of sh small shops in between you get refreshments as well uh, it is a good practice if you want to carry a hat or something because it's sunny it, is, it there are a lot of plants and shades are there but at some stretch in between you may encounter a lot of sunlight as well so it is better to prepare yourself against the sun, wear your SPF, carry um, chata if you want or um, hat. I luckily had a hat with me. So talking about the best time to visit, obviously it is during the early morning or late afternoon and it closes by 5. You have to make keep that in mind as well. So it shouldn't be that late in the afternoon as well. So 5 is the last time you can get an entry into the um, into Auroville. So if it is morning or the late afternoon, the golden structure glows in sunlight, which add to a sense of peace and serenity. So now let's look how people live over here in Auroville and what they eat, etc, etc. So in Auroville, food is not just about nourishment. It's a way of life that reflects a community's commitment to sustainability and health. So the most of the food that is consumed over here is organic with many residents and the restaurants relying on produce grown within the overall on its own or organic farms. Many residents follow a plant-based diet with fresh fruits, vegetables, grains, pulses forming the mainstay of their meals. There is a focus on locally sourced ingredients to minimize environmental impact and the meals are often simple but nutritious. Auroville offers a range of eateries from small cafes to larger dining halls serving vegetarian and vegan meals. The food is diverse and inspired by both, both local Tamil cuisine and international flavors. You will find delicious dishes made from fresh salad, wholesome soups, lentil based curries, rice and homemade breads. And one more attracting feature over here is a solar kitchen is one of the most popular dining spots in Auroville where the meals are cooked using solar energy. So here residents and visitors come together to share a common meal, paying through a system called AuroCard, a prepaid card that can be used across the community. For those who want to experience Auroville's way of life, sharing a meal at the solar kitchen or one of the community cafe is a great way to connect with the locals and, a fe and fellow visitors. Besides cafe, Oro will also have its farm shops where you can buy fresh organic vegetables, dairy products and even um, you know some souvenirs made by the community that you can get back home. So the best time that are for you to visit Oroville, Oroville actually can be visited throughout the year. The best time to visit maybe November and February, between November and February for the reason like it will be a little bit you know less warm over here weather will be pleasant and perfect for exploring the gardens and farm and also for outdoor activities because the summers here can get quite hot and humid as was i was explaining earlier and the monsoon season you know rain can be heavy over here for those who love outdoor experiences winter is definitely the ideal time to visit or will and reaching Oroville is really simple. It is located around like 12 kilometers from Pondicherry. And the nearest major airport is Chennai, which is uh, around like 135 kilometers away. And from Chennai, you can hire a taxi or take a bus to reach Oroville. The roads are well connected and it is about three hours of drive. How we reached over there? We were over there in Pondicherry and we hired a scooty and in the same scooty we reached Oroville. If you're coming by train, the closest railway station is Pondicherry and from there a lot of local buses and taxis are av available. And I've already told you when in Pondicherry it is better to get a scooty, it is cheaper, it can, it can kind of like save a lot of money. And that was all about Oruville in a nutshell and I really hope by now you will be really excited to visit this place and experience all this for yourself. And if that is a, the case, please don't hesitate. Do come and visit Oroville. It is really, it will, it will really be a nice experience for you guys. That's all for today. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. And do subscribe to my channel. And please 
keep giving me all the love guys i love you all bye bye